Now that we've finished off the tail of ass ca Ooh, item. Boink. Now that we've dealt with that, let's go do another stage of this. Because it's right over here. Might as well just keep progressing this every chance I get. Because then I'll then it'll turn green and I can stop thinking about it. You know, the other green. The the finished green. Almost went too high up. Is this a, yeah, it's just always here. Okay. Welcome back, Yagami-san. Working hard, Norimoto-kun. I'll have the usual. Of course, please, right this way. So, Norimoto-kun, I discovered Miharu-chan's dream date. And? She says she wants to see dolphins at the aquarium. I'm surprised they don't quiz me and have me guess what it was. Or remember, I mean. Oh! I'll show her a dolphin, all right. Oh, Jesus. That seems really questionable for us. All right. I mean, yeah. I'll go buy some aquarium tickets and ask her right away. You're the man, Yagami-san. Hey, if the date goes well, you should tell her how you feel at the end. What? Don't act so surprised. If you've made it this far, you might as well share your feelings with her, right? But what if she rejects me? You can't just go in there thinking about rejection. Show her the real Norimoto-kun. A man that truly cares. Uh, okay, I'll do my best. Come on. What kind of response is that? Show some enthusiasm and make sure you ask her on that date. Hi. Yes, sir. Followed by a romantic, heartfelt confession. You got all that? I'll, I'll do the best I can. Oh, and before I start day daydreaming about this, I'll be happy to comp your order. Gotta pay my dues. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't have to do that. Just focus on doing your best. Hi. Right, even though I'm so nervous. Anyway, thank you again coming in today and for the advice. I'm getting like 10 free meals out of this, except for the fact that I'm not. Because it doesn't actually let me order anything for free. It's just that I'm implied to be eating something in the cutscene, and that's free. And they, they have like 10 plus things to order here, so that would actually be really helpful if I could get them for free. There we go. That's all the damage that Mr... What's his name did to me? Oh right. Ass Ketchum. How could I forget? How could I forget? Dear lord. We might actually be there now. Mm -hmm. 350 to go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Whoop! Just saw that icon. They seem really common, and a lot of them seem to be re respawning, which is surprising. Oh my god. Yeah. I really did have to just unlock races properly, and now they're just spawning the resources everywhere. And to think that I was buying it before... Still, what I bought might have been useful. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. And also didn't have context for the decision yet. Oh. There's food in here. This is... Chicken Karage? Oh. Is that like is that like chicken tempura? Cuz it's deep fried looking, but that looked like broccoli. I don't know. It was a, it, the the it, the picture went away rel relatively quickly. There's a note attached to it again. Let's see. Till you got me, Kun. I tried out that curry myself, and honestly, that was the worst curry I've had in my entire life. Sorry for making you suffer through that. This time, it'll be 10 times better. I'm so yeah, you think you try it yourself first. So, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be honest with her, definitely, like she said. Uh, if I had, uh, if I, if I had been dishonest and sugarcoated it, she probably would have been mad when she tried it herself and, and realized that I'd been lying to her. But, uh, she really could have st skipped some steps here if she tried it herself first. 
So, feast your eyes on my special chicken karage. Who doesn't like that, right? And to spice it up a bit, uh oh. I put wasabi in the flour, just to add a little something. That sounds questionable. I'm sure I got it right this time, so please, let me know. From Tomioka. Alright, I gotta Google this. I know what curry is, but... Chicken... Karage. Oops, I spelled Karaha on accident. It corrected, it's fine. Chicken... Kahar karahi. Oops. And it click... Yeah, I had to click correct to karage. Karahi is also a dish. Uh, what is chicken karagi? That looks good. Also known as ghost karahi and kadai chicken is a dish from the Indian subcontinent known for its spicy taste. It is noticeable in, uh, notable in Pakistani and North Indian cuisine. The Pakistani version does not have capsicum or onions where the North Indian version uses capsicum. This is prepared on a, in a karahi. So a karahi is also just a term? What's a, what's a karahi? Uh, it's a little two-handled pot thing, I guess. Yeah, thick circular pot. I've seen. I think I've seen that before. Or you know, there's only so many versions of pots. Anyway, karage meaning tang fry. So I'm right about the fried part. What's tempura mean? I wonder. Uh, is a Japanese cooking technique in which various foods, most often chicken, but also other meat and fish, are deep fried in oil. The process involves lightly coating small pieces of the meat or fish with seasoned wheat flour. Just, yeah, yeah, it's deep fried. That's all it really means. Maybe tempura is a different type of process for deep frying non-meats, maybe? Wasabi and chicken karage. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Guess I have to try that anyway. Ugh, this tastes like... Actually, it tastes kind of good. The wasabi gives it a nice kick. As a matter of fact, a sharp flavor might set it apart from other chicken karage. Hmm? <laughs> Whoa! Ugh. Some pieces have way more wasabi than others. I doubt that any customer will consider this a pleasant surprise. It'd be more like their last. Uh, maybe you just need to put less wasabi in? Or blend it better? I don't know. Anyway, I should probably paraphrase this to Tomioka-san. <clears throat> the wasabi is all over the place. Tomioka-san, I tried your chicken karage. And honestly, it needs some work. For starters, you should apply the wasabi evenly so it's not inconsistent. The parts that did have the right amount of wasabi were delicious, though. Please try a taste test next time you cook. I'm begging you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that should just about do it. <laughs> Compared to the before, Tomioka-san does seem to be improving, though. Maybe her next dish will be fully edible? That was edible. It was just spicy sometimes. Strangely enough, I'm actually looking forward to it. you think that she'd be improving by iterating on one dish instead of trying a completely different thing each time. I do think these are like life hack things like like i do think that the the staff of the of the developer like had a little meeting where they just like threw around ideas that they probably actually know about from people things that they made or that people that they know made and stuff like that and we're having fun with that which is it's fun to think about it ah it all sorts to the bottom so this is the entire list of all things i can get from this entire developer i mean uh this location wow so here's the final quick case of the entire game. It requires me to clear 49 side cases and have reputation level 50. So this is the completionism quest. This one requires something that I don't have access to in level, level 45, 35, 25. Oh, this is probably a quest chain. Yeah. 25. Reputation level 50 again and defeat the guy and king le le leaders and some other event has to be finished. And main story stuff. Yeah, cleared another quest and why not pass time. Level 20, level 15. Ah, a groper on the loose. Gotcha. So this is the third part of the trio of the perverts. 
So I have to be level 15 in reputation, which I'm almost at. But I also have to clear a quest I haven't done yet, which might be this one, maybe. We'll see. Anyway. So th you can see how these are spread out throughout the story. So it makes a little more sense to do them as I get them. A publisher's request. Greetings, Yagami-san. I'm Kawada, and I'm contacting you uh, today in hopes that you will take on a rather odd request. Can we discuss this further at Cafe Mihori on Nak Nak Nakamichi Street? A middle-aged, average-looking man in a suit. Please contact- please come at your leisure. Dis Self-describing yourself as average always feels weird to me. Alright. So once again, it's a case of, I go to them. That's why I was so surprised when I took the other quest and they were just right there in my house. Or my office, I mean. Because while I would expect people to come to the office, so far it seems that I go to them most of the time. Does it say where it is? Let's see. We said Nakamichi Street. Where's Nakamichi Street? Right here. I'm already there. They said Mihori, right? Cafe Mi Oh, there it is. It's hiding behind that other icon. Alright, time to go right back into the cafe again. Gotcha. Destroy. There's a very, very rushed man coming through. Oh my god, that plant. Yagami-san, guess what? Well, hey, Mihari-chan, what's going on? Okay, okay. Let me show you, you to your seat first, then I'll tell you about it. Alright. Yagami-san, check this out. Mm -hmm. Commence checking. Just like you predicted, I got invited to the aquarium. <laughs> told you. Oh, look, it's the average man in a suit. Watching this happen. So who's the lucky guy? Actually, it was Norimoto-kun. Can you believe it? Amazing. What a coincidence. We were talking in the back, and all of a sudden he told me he happened to get some aquarium tickets. Isn't that crazy? You did well, Norimoto-kun. You're on the blessed path. Yeah, it's your aquarium dream come true. Enjoy that date. <laughs> oh, it's nothing like that. We're just going as friends. The two of you? At an aquarium. All by yourselves. Sounds like a date to me. Well, when you put it like that... Jeez. Now I'm getting all nervous. Oh, what should I wear? <laughs> hey, now, I was just teasing. Don't think too hard about it. Just be yourself and focus on having a good time. Yeah. You're right. That's good advice. Thanks for the meal, Maharu-chan. Hope you enjoy the aquarium. Thank you! How are we doing, by the way? I'm bad at keeping track of when quest stuff might be coming in. Down to, t down to the last 250. Excuse me, sir, I need to pick up a part. Never mind, it's not here this time. I'm horribly wrong. Excuse me. Are you the one who requested a PI? Oh, yes. You must be Yagami-san, then. I'm Kawada. Nice to meet you, Kawada-san. What can I do for you? Well... Let me start by saying I'm an editor of a small publishing company called Cloudy Skies Publishing. The thing is, we've been struggling recently. If we don't publish a hit soon, the whole company may end up folding. It's that bad, huh? I'm afraid so. I've been racking my brain about it, but that's when I saw what could be our lucky break. Oh yeah? Yes. Have you ever heard of Takumi Katagiri? He's a mystery writer. Oh, yeah, he writes the Falco Edison series, right? I've been reading the Killing Light Bulb. The... The what? Oh, so you know him. He's actually going to be announcing his new book soon. And I was wondering if you could attend the announcement event with us. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Me? Why? It's more than just an announcement, you see. He's going to award the publishing rights of it for his book at the same time. Publishing rights. Of course. No publisher in his right mind wouldn't want Katagiri Sensei's newest. Whenever he writes anything new, publishers get worked into a frenzy trying to get it. 
I guess everyone wants to the I guess everyone wants the safe bet. Very much so. And the big publishers always want always must allow the smaller guys like us. That's business for you. But this time's different. He's trying to create a level playing field for all the publishers. And that's tied to his announcement, I take it. Yes, exactly. I see. Well, do you know what his criteria is going to be? Apparently, Katagiri Sensei is going to come up with a problem, and the first publisher to solve it gets the rights. A problem. Yes, and that's where you come in. Wait, what? Solving problems is a detective's job, right? Just like Falco Edison. Those are novels. In real life, even he'd struggle with those cases. Don't be such a downer. Come on. My company's going to live or die on this, please. Yagami-san. If you can do it, how does 180k sound? If you don't end up being able to solve it, at least you tried. Alright. That does sound pre like a pretty good deal. Then it's settled. Thank you. But again, no promises that I can solve this riddle of his. Of course. Well, the announcement's happening soon. Are you ready to head over? Yeah. This should be interesting. Sounds like fun. Solving a riddle based on an author that writes stories about people like my character, of all people, of all things, of all things. <clears throat> interesting that he's such a successful author, but he doesn't have an actual publishing contract with anybody, so he's allowed to just pit everybody against each other every single time. Sure. Let's go then. Here we are. Looks like we just made it. Ladies and gentlemen, and esteemed publishers, I am pleased to welcome the world-renowned author, Takumi Katagiri, to the venue, so that he may announce his book. So without further ado, please welcome Katagiri Sensei. Let me first thank you all for coming today. I'm not usually one for this kind of extravagance, but today, I have my reasons. As you know, I have a new work to announce, and I'm confident it will be as good, if not better, than the Edison series. But I've not made any decisions concerning who will publish the work at this time. I've always felt the field was a bit unfair. What is... Sorry, I got distracted by the animations in the background. What were they doing? And this time, I'd like to give every publisher an equal shot. As such, I've devised this problem. Whoever can solve it will be awarded the publishing rights. You want to put your thinking caps on, everyone. This almost sounds like it might be a, a PR stunt on his part. This is it. It's all on your shoulders, Yagami-san. Yeah, no pressure or anything. Allow me to give you... Allow me to give a few details concerning this problem we have for you. The problem solution will be the combination to this safe on stage. Katagiri Sensei's master script for this new book is locked inside. If you feel you've solved the problem, simply come on the stage and attempt to unlock it. If the safe opens, you have won the publishing rights. Now, are you all ready for the problem itself? Let's get underway. Ooh. Ooh. A A A A is four. C C C C is zero. A C A C is two. Okay, so A is worth one and C is worth zero. B B B B is worth eight, so B's are worth two. D D D D equals four, so D's are equal one. A B C D is worth four. Because A is worth 1, B is worth 2, C is worth 0, and D is worth 1. So 1, 2, 0, 1 is 4. Okay. So the only outliers are C's are worth 0 and B's are worth 2. 
first of all, that's A, B, C, D on the first one. The order doesn't matter. So the first one is... I should be writing these down. Even though it's simple, I'm going to lose track midway through when I'm trying to remember the combination in full. Let's see. So... A is 1. B equals 2. C equals 0. D equals 1. Alright, so C, B, D, A is equal to 4. C, 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 A is 0, 0, 0, 1, so 1. B, A, C, C is 2, 1, 0, 0, so 3. A, A, B, C is 1, 1, 2, 0, so that's 4. So the code is 4134. There we go. <clears throat> Probably still wrote down more than I needed to, but I just- I, I, I knew that when I was calculating the individual digits, I was gonna forget what the overall list was. Yeah, can we sign? Have you figured it out yet? Hmm. Let me think for a sec. Okay. Oh, I think I have it. It's almost like it's f fucking juvenile. <laughs> This is not of a... of a... Uh, this is not worth ma God, I wish I could make $1,800 this way. Really? Then go see what you're waiting... Then what are you waiting for? Go open the safe. Uh, okay. I better hurry there before, you know, anybody else who can think figures it out immediately. Ah, it seems we have a potential solution. Your name, sir. Ah, uh, it's Yagami with Cloudy Skies Publishing. How confident are you, Yagami-san? I guess I'm pretty confident. Very well, then. You may attempt to unlock the safe. Alright. Just gotta enter the code. The code is... Four, one, three, four. Ta-da! That was very easy. I'm... Honestly disappointed. I was hoping for like a murder mystery to happen in this room. Perfect. Incredible. Cloudy Skies Publishing has solved the problem. Congratulations. It seems I can entrust my newest work to you, Cloudy Skies. I didn't think the problem would be solved so easily. Next time I'll have to make it harder. Yes, seriously. I mean, considering you're, so, you're apparently such a good author that, like, all these people come after you. This was actually a, a disappointing quest, honestly. I thought this cool, rad dude would come up with some crazy Zero Escape style premise, you know, without minus the death shit. Uh, where like some crazy escape roomy, puzzly thing is happening in the room and somebody has to really do some deductive reasoning to solve a missile, a middle, a riddle. Or maybe it'd be like a parody of like a... Maybe they'd make a parody of like a... Of like a, I can't think of his name. Of a Sherlock Holmes story, like a, like a study in a study in a study in pink. I think it's called or something like that. The one with like with Rasha, with Racha and stuff like that. Just anything, just anything, better than four one three four. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got all hyped up that we're gonna have a cool. Thing. Like, maybe there'd be a murder mystery set up, or any kind of theatrics at all. That was like a fucking McDonald's menu, like, children's menu, like, time waster to keep <laughs> kids busy. Thank you so much, Agami-san. Our company is saved. Glad I could help. I think I even surprised myself a little. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. I'm glad I came to you, Yagami-san. Here's your payment, as promised. So much money! Thank you. I have a lot to discuss with our- about our contract with Katagiri Kasensei. So I suppose I should be off. Good luck. Yes. Thank you so much again. If you'll excuse me. Isn't that guy gonna be mad when he shows up to the, the publishing place? And finds out that, like, the guy who impressed him isn't there, and it was all a ruse. They hired somebody and cheated, basically. Because that's basically what happened. 
feel like there might be a follow-up quest where that guy's like... Where I have to show up again to pretend that I work there because of the, the hype. Uh, it's so tempting to, to buy these things, but I want to- I just want to have this out of the way. I'm almost there. Do I have a, a hug? Yet? Again? Got a lot of other things. Yep. So we're probably all dried up again, right? Yep. Five quests down over here. Oh, there's food in here. Is this... Okonomiyaki? Alright. Let's get my notes out of the way real quick so I can Google that now. Okonomiyaki. You can Google these things along with me. It's a fun game. That's one of those. It's one of those ones where they, where they zigzag the dressing all over it to make it look really visually appealing. A lot of Japanese food is so nice to look at. There's a whole presentation to it. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese savory pancake. Ooh. Containing a variety of ingredients. The name is derived from the word oko, okonomi, meaning how you like, or what, or what you like, and yaki meaning cooked. Okono, okonomiyaki is mainly associated with the Kansai or Hiroshima areas of Japan, but is widely uh, available throughout the country. You didn't describe what's in it. Toppings and batters tend to vary according to region. In Tokyo, there's a semi-liquid... Uh, a semi-liquid okonomiyaki called monyaki. Ew. I don't want a liquid pancake. Huh. Let's see. This is the Kansai area one. The batter is made of flour, grated nagaimo, a type of yam, water, or dashi. Eggs and shredded cabbage, and usually contains other ingredients such as green onion, meat, generally thin pork belly, often mistaken for bacon, octopus, squid, shrimp, vegetables, cognac, mochi, or cheese. Okonomiyaki is sometimes compared to an omelet or a pan or a pancake, and may be referred to as Japanese pizza or Osaka soul food. Jesus Christ, that's a wide description. That's a wide variety of descriptions. I want to find this now. I'm gonna like. Google whether I can find a place in my region that serves this because I'm really curious because this Definitely does not taste anything like pancakes is my takeaway Cause the, the part where it's called savory was the first clue But the images I'm seeing and the description I just got like it's like some kind of flat patter, Platter of just strange ingredients and it looks like it's all over the place. That's probably what's called Japanese pizza is because Yeah, that, that it being called Japanese pizza messages with it being called any any way you like it, which is this idea that it's just a it's kind of a blank canvas that you just put different things on. Interesting. I want to try Japanese pizza. Hey, there's a picture of it. Neat. Wait, hang on a second. Is that the? Is that the no, not quite. It looked so close to the first Google image search that I got that I, I thought that it might have been from the Google image search. But no, it's not. It's just an almost identical dish. What's the note say? Who you got me, Kun? Thanks for trying the karage. Like you said, the wasabi was spread out pretty unevenly. I'll make sure to be more careful next time. Anyway, for our next delicacy, I decided to whip up some ono onomoyaki. On okonomoyaki. <laughs> I had some I had some during a trip to Sotenbori. Are we going there or not? And it tasted so good I never forgot it. So I did my homework and learned how to make a pretty mean okonomiyaki myself. Taste it, and you'll swear it was the real deal. From Tamioka. It better be the real deal. You're trying to make a restaurant. Okonomiyaki, huh? Time to give it a try. This tastes delicious. The batter is light and fluffy, and the, so and the sauce with a hint of mustard tantalizes the tongue. I bet this would go perfect with a frosty mug of beer. I'm amazed. Tomioka-san Tomioka is really improved. I'll let her know right away. I've never been less... <laughs> all the options are delicious. I've never been less aware of, of what something might taste like. Tomioka-san, I tried your okonomiyaki. 
and it was seriously the best I've ever had. All it needed was a nice cold beer on the side. <laughs> Which, like, even that's, like, confusing to me, because the, the first thing I it was referenced to as being, like, a pancake. I'm like, you would not mix pancakes and beer. But pizza, yeah? Please, keep them coming, Tomioka-san. You're doing great. What does it taste like? I have to know now. I can't believe how far Tomioka-san has come in such a short amount of time. Yeah, it's been like 30 minutes. <laughs> I've been rushing this. If the rest of her menu turns out this good, I'm sure her izakaya will be a big hit. I always... I, I sound just like the, uh... It's always a little weird when the voice actors always have to, like, really awkwardly pause every time they're about to say a, uh, Japanese word in the middle of their English lines and everything like that. And always, I always get a, get a kick out of that. But I inescapably constantly do that because all I can do is constantly speak that way because I'm me. And I'm like, oh god, here comes Japanese, I'm screwed. Yagami-kun, thanks to you I have more confidence in my cooking. Now I'll have no problem opening up my izakaya. That's what I'd like to say, but I have all sorts of preparations to do, so it might take a while. It'll happen sometimes in the not-too-distant future. But for now, I'll continue, to, I'll continue to enjoy cooking with your advice in mind. I'll make sure to make you more goodies on occasion. Well then, looks like I'll be seeing you around. Thank you for the meal. Thanks again for the cooking. Can't wait to see that izakaya of yours. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you complete your big important case. They can pay me all the rent you owe. Guess that about wraps it up. I'm glad I was able to pay my dues, even if it all I did was eat. Though, what I really should be paying is my rent. I just made like 18, 180 grand. Like... During this, while I was resolving that, I did that in parallel. How am I not affording rent?